Can you tell me a little bit more about the decision making? That was very hard because it was said to us as a 50-50 kind of choice, whether we have the carinoma out uh, and the dangers of having the operation and so on, or whether we left it there with the dangers that it would bleed again. And so, uh, so that was the decision we had to make. It, it, was, it was scary, a lot of scariness for Pat, and of course uh, it was actually very scary for me as well, although I like to think I didn't uh, show that as much as I felt. And indeed, we uh, had to think about it time and time again. We decided we would do it because we felt that the risk of a bleed was worse than the risk of having it out. And how do you make that choice? I don't know, but we did. But we had to think about it all the time. And indeed, we stood outside the hospital on the day Pat was due to enter. We stood on the steps outside the National Hospital and said, are we going in or aren't we? And we said, OK, well, we've got this far. Let's go in. And then what was brilliant was that it became very apparent to the nurses that Pat was uh, very hesitant about this. And Mr. Kitchen came after doing two operations one afternoon when Pat was the fourth, sat on her bed and said, you don't need to do this, absolutely you don't need to. I'm here to do it if you would like me to. We'll be in at four o'clock, but if you decide not to, you should not worry at all. That was brilliant. Anyway, having made the choice, having said yes, I think Pat became calm when they started to take her out from the, from the ward uh, into surgery. From my perspective, I think you've heard of Pat's, uh, that was a very scary time. I, uh, in fact, I went away from the hospital, I went to, a, went to the National Portrait Gallery and immersed myself in that. Uh, I just couldn't bear to think of it. But I went back to the hospital uh, at uh, about two hours later, I think it took probably three and a bit hours, and waited with a lot of other people who were waiting for rather worse things even than, uh, than my experience. And what was brilliant was then going into the, uh, not the intensity ward, but anyway, the, the place where Pat went to uh, overnight, uh, the high dependency unit. And what was great was seeing her, and she looked normal. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting her to look like, but uh, she woke up while I was there. High dependency unit was fantastic, the best hospital experience I've ever had. Really good nurse looking after Pat all night. And I stayed there for probably two or three hours holding her hand and realising that she was basically, I mean, very drugged, but nonetheless she was still the Pat that I remembered. It can't have been that she wasn't going to be perhaps, but I didn't believe it till I saw it. And that was perhaps the best part of the whole experience.